No matter what, they just keep innovating. SpaceX engineers never cease to amaze us with their incredible upgrades to the Starship system. Right now, at the new launch pad under construction below the new OLM I mentioned earlier, an unprecedented innovation is on the way. The dual flame bucket! How exciting is that? So, what exactly will the system look like, and how will it supercharge our launch efficiency? Let's dive in and find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. As part of its ambitious plans, SpaceX aims to complete its new launch system known as Launchpad B by January 28th next year. Just a few months ago, SpaceX astounded the aerospace community by finishing the launch tower stack in an impressive six weeks. This rapid progress underscores SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology and operational efficiency. Now the focus shifts to ramping up work on the surrounding systems, including the orbital launch mount and the protection system, which are crucial components for the successful operation of Launchpad B. In contrast to Pad A, which employs a water-cooled steel plate system to manage the intense heat and pressure generated during launches, Pad B will utilize a more traditional flame trench design, a method commonly seen in many established rocket systems. This effective approach has already demonstrated its capabilities during various launches at the Massey test site. However, SpaceX is innovating further with a groundbreaking concept called the Dual Flame Bucket which promises to significantly enhance the system's efficiency and performance during rocket launches. To help visualize this innovative design, the talented Chrome Kiwi team has created an impressive 3D model shared on X, showcasing the intricacies and engineering marvel behind the dual flame bucket system. A huge thanks to them for their dedication and artistry in producing these stunning images. Be sure to follow their X page to support their remarkable work and encourage them to create even more captivating visuals in the future. Now let's delve deeper into the mechanics of this pioneering design. The flame trench will be strategically situated beneath the test platform, featuring an inclined structure that optimally redirects the immense forces generated during launches. It consists of a rectangular frame that accommodates the incline, connecting to a C-shaped section that links the incline to the ground. Once assembled, the trench will be reinforced with concrete to ensure stability and durability under extreme conditions. Additionally, it'll incorporate a manifold system designed to supply water for test support, further enhancing its capabilities. This ingenious design effectively redirects the heat and pressure generated by the rocket away from the ground, preventing damage, something we witnessed during Flight 1, where the launch pad's integrity was put to the test. The added water system will significantly reduce heat and pressure, creating a shower effect similar to what we experienced with Pad A, ensuring that both the rocket and the launch infrastructure remain safe. What's particularly exciting about the new flame trench compared to Pad A's water-cooled steel plate system is its potential for long-term use. While the steel plate has exhibited wear and tear after multiple launches, the flame trench is better equipped to handle the demanding operational cycles of the new OLM, ensuring enhanced durability as SpaceX prepares for thousands of annual flights and solidifying its position as a leader in commercial spaceflight. The dual flame bucket system has been validated through numerous successful tests with ship prototypes at Massey, establishing a solid foundation for upcoming launch pad B tests. Illustrated in Chrome Kiwi's image, the plan includes constructing an additional flame bucket opposite the OLM, positioning it centrally. When ignited, the power will be evenly distributed, creating a visually stunning effect as dust billows outward like giant wings surrounding the starship. This innovative system is crucial for future rocket testing and launches. Currently, the Massey Flame Trench is used solely for static fire tests of the ship, while Super Heavy is tested at the launch site. The Dual Flame Bucket represents a significant advancement in SpaceX's approach, optimizing launch operations and enhancing safety by effectively managing the massive energy flow from Super Heavy, leading to quicker turnaround times. Are you excited about this innovation? If so, comment DUAL in the comments section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's journey as we near the completion of Launchpad B.
In addition to boosting efficiency, the dual flame bucket system also presents an exciting potential for long-term use. With the increase in efficiency, the amount of damage sustained will be reduced, allowing for extended operational lifespans. Following the success of Flight 5, we can expect Starship flights to become more frequent. SpaceX is gearing up to increase launch rates to fully realize landing and reusability, establish refueling systems, test Starship HLS, and so much more. At Starbase, SpaceX has proposed a bold plan to launch and land 25 times in the near future. After that, we might witness a dramatic increase in flight frequency, preparing for the first Starship mission to Mars within two years, a manned mission in four years, and eventually building a Mars base. To meet this escalating demand, many new launch pads and flame trenches will be necessary. However, the dual flame bucket will serve as the foundational system for all future designs. Beyond accommodating launch frequency, the long-term capabilities of the dual flame bucket will shine as new Starship versions are developed. If you think the current Starship is already astonishingly powerful, with a liftoff thrust exceeding 7,000 tons, twice that of the Saturn V, just wait until you see what's next. Musk recently mentioned that the new launch pad is already designed for the 10,000 ton thrust version, which is almost exactly three times more powerful than the Saturn V moon rocket. SpaceX has now unveiled V2, which is anticipated to use the Raptor 3 engine, delivering a sea level thrust of up to 280 tons per engine. Excitingly, the first V2 prototypes are already in production and are undergoing testing. At this pace, we might see only two more V1 flights, with V2 potentially launching early next year, perfectly timed with the progress of Launchpad B. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to create a towering 150 meter tall V3 version. This iteration could utilize the Raptor 3 or a future engine boasting 330 tons of thrust. With that kind of power, the Starship's liftoff thrust would soar beyond 10,000 tons. Of course, achieving such milestones will require even more robust launch pads than the current Pad A system and the testing setup at Massey. I've been pondering what systems will meet Musk's ambitious requirements, and it seems that the dual flame bucket might just be the perfect solution. That said, this new system will come with some challenges. First, the flame trenches will need to be excavated much deeper and wider, taking up significant space. If SpaceX intends to build more systems like this in the future, a major expansion of Starbase will be essential. But this presents a challenge with government and environmental agencies still in play. Let's see how SpaceX tackles this hurdle. Wrapping up the SpaceX segment, let's dive into an exciting update from the Artemis II mission. Recently, the four Artemis II astronauts Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Jeremy Hansen practiced a crucial contingency operation opening the side hatch of their Orion spacecraft. As they gear up for the moon mission, this training is vital. If all goes according to plan for the scheduled September 2025 launch and round the moon mission, the astronauts will keep all hatches firmly shut. However, embarking on the first human lunar mission since Apollo 17 in 1972 necessitates a laser focus on safety, just in case. NASA stated, during normal mission operations, the crew will not operate the hatches. The ground systems team at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida will assist the crew into Orion at the launch pad, then close the hatch behind them prior to liftoff. After splashdown in the Pacific Ocean, recovery teams will open the side hatch and help the crew to exit. Importantly, both the astronauts and their backup members have undergone training on the hatch system. This ensures that they can safely enter and exit the spacecraft in an emergency. Normally, the side hatch is opened using a manual gearbox system, but in an emergency, the hatch is equipped with release mechanisms that contain small pyrotechnic devices. These devices instantly release the latch pins on the hatch, allowing it to open quickly, an essential safety feature. Given that NASA's systems are currently showing several risks, this preparation step is crucial. For instance, NASA is considering whether to replace the heat shield on Orion as it plays a significant role in the overall roadmap. Additionally, the mobile launch system, part of the exploration ground system, has experienced delays. Concerns are also mounting about the SLS due to poor contractor performance, which raises issues regarding schedule, quality, and cost. As we approach the end of 2024, we have less than two years left until Artemis II. The pressing question is, can NASA get everything ready in time? If delays persist, do you think this ambitious project should be reconsidered? Let's spark a discussion in the comments section down below. 
Otherwise, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for sticking around as always. And once again, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.